So it feels like January again. No complaints, Marty. But imagine the news stories we'd be doing if it felt like August. <laughs> right? <laughs> so actually, you know, it's supposed to feel like January. It's Friday. Don't need no surprises. Let's just go. Cruise on in the weekend. You with me on that, Hagen? Absolutely. Absolutely. We do have some shower activity north of the area. None coming into our region. It, right now, it's a matter of getting rid of clouds that have been with us through the, uh, through the uh, let's say, last uh, 15, 16 hours. But that low is moving offshore. And behind it, we're into this northwest flow. You can see some uh, mixed precip up around the Laurel Highlands near State College, uh, near Pittsburgh. That, again, that's not coming here. But it's a clear indication that there's chillier air now moved into the eastern half of the United States. Cloud and sun. It is going to be a little bit breezy behind that front, that area of low pressure. Uh, north, northwest at 12, 51 degrees. And, uh, you know, fact of the matter is that's still above the average daytime high for this state. So we're, we're still living pretty good. And look, even behind, uh, even behind this front, even once we get beyond the weekend, we're still going to stay basically in a zonal flow. And we've cut off the real cold air, uh, keeping it north of the border. If that frontal boundary were to slip down here, you know, welcome back to a bit of the polar vortex. Really, that's not going to happen, though. As we move through the afternoon, we'll start to see some peaks of sun mixing with some clouds. There's that front. It's not a huge concern. Going to glaze across the area, glance across the area. Uh, tonight's going to be, frankly, the the coolest of the, the coolest night of the next many. And as we go through the weekend, we'll have a gener pretty generous amount of sun. Uh, that'll be a breeze as we get into Sunday. Then look, here comes another warm front our way. Now that will come with some shower activity. Computers painting in a little bit of mixed precip that may be a bit too aggressive. We'll see how it goes. But there will be some showers as we move into Monday morning, as particularly uh, Monday's uh, commute could be a little bit damp. Then that clears out, and we continue with clear skies and temperatures where they should be as we move through the next many days. To be quite honest about it, it's a pretty darn good forecast. Uh, currently right now on TV Hill 49, overnight tonight though it's going to drop to 34. That could be the chilliest overnight of the next many and certainly not as mild as the past few. Now back to you.